Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. In the latest e-invoice specific guideline 3.0, there are six highlights for e-invoice treatment during interim relaxation period. First, the interim relaxation period applies to all three phases for e-invoice implementation. Second, all taxpayers are allowed to issue consolidated e-invoice for all transactions and also activities. This includes those businesses not allowed to issue consolidated e-invoice in the earlier guide, such as automotive, aviation, and construction. Third, businesses are required to issue consolidated self-built e-invoice for all self-built circumstances. Fourth, businesses are allowed to input any details or information in the product or service description field, and not just limited to put in the previous invoice or bill numbers. Fifth, Businesses not to issue individual e-invoice or individual self-built e-invoice, even the buyer or the supplier request to do so. And lastly, IRB will not undertake any prosecutions regarding e-invoice non-compliance. That's all for today. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.